Hey, welcome back to the channel. Brendan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a live chat widget with N8N that is based off the data from your WooCommerce database. So I can open up my live chat and I can say, um, you know, what hats do you have? And it's going to do, it's going to send this information to an AI agent and the AI agent is going to ping the WooCommerce database and then return actual chat information. So you can see based on the store data, here's some hats, headwear available. So we have Beanie with a logo, red color. We can see that it's it's determined the full price and then it's it's sent the, the um, sale price, right? So we have then also, yeah, Beanie with a logo right there uh, and then cap, right? So there it's pulled out all the headwear from my WooCommerce database. And that's probably based off of, um, like if I remove these filters, it's probably got, well, it's got accessories as the category, but it knows that this is a hat based off of the, you know, the product information in WooCommerce. And so, you know, this is um, a pretty simple example with just a couple of products, just to sample WooCommerce products, but it's a, a powerful way to think about uh, giving your client uh, access to sort of customize agent um, responses on their website. So I could come in here and be like, um, you know, my mom's birthday is coming up. She, and she, and she likes music. What can I get her? And now it'll hopefully, you know, return information, not about clothing or, or accessories or, you know, hoodies or hats, it's going to go and find the information about um, the album. So we have a full album, right? It's $15. And I think there's like a single in here, right? So it, it's identifying those as music tracks. And again, that's likely based off of the uh, categories here in WooCommerce. So anyway, I'm just going to show you how to get this going. All right, so I'm going to just jump into N8N. You can see I have a completely blank install, no credentials, no workflows. So I'll just start from scratch. And what we're going to do is build a chat agent. So I'm going to look for the trigger and I'm going to choose the on chat trigger message and we'll just leave it as is for now. And then what we want to do is hook this up to an AI agent. And so I'm going to click advanced AI and AI agent. All right, so it's going to be a tools agent. We're just going to use the, the default stuff here. Keep it pretty simple in this video. Um, but, you know, you need three things. You need a chat model, memory, and then what tool the actual agent has access to. So let's just add a, a open AI model here. We'll just use, uh, let's see, I don't have any credentials here, so I got to set those up. So let's create, uh, say, create credential. And so there's, um, there's, there's instructions here on how to set it up and create an open AI API key. You just need to go create an account and uh, create the API key. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to go ahead and paste mine in here and I'll hit save. And I can see it turns green. So I'm good to go with the AI model. And then I can choose my various models here. We'll just leave it on 40 mini. Um, and we'll keep going. So we have our chat model. And again, just because I'm just kind of prototyping this, I'm just going to use the, the default w window buffer memory and we'll just leave that as the default. Pretty simple. You know, you probably want to use a Postgres database if you're, um, you know, putting this into production, but this will work. Uh, and then basically we just want to attach a tool to give this agent access to, to it. And so, you know, again, there's lots of different tools in here. You have all your Google products. You know, you have Airtable, you can put a calculator, Wikipedia, all that good stuff. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom down to the W for WooCommerce. And so this lets you consume the WooCommerce API and we're going to set that up. So let's click that. And again, I don't have any credentials here, so I'll hit uh, create credential. And basically now what I need to do is go to my site. Okay. And then we're going to go to, and actually... I'll just note here, you can click open docs and it gives you basically everything you need. So you need the WooCommerce uh, trigger, prerequisites install WooCommerce. We have the permalink set to plain or anything, or sorry, anything other than plain. Um, and then we're just going to get an API key with uh, consumer secret and consumer key. So pretty simple to set up 
uh, let's just do that really quick. Go to my WooCommerce site and click on WooCommerce and go to settings. And I believe it's under advanced. And then up at the top here, there's other links. So I'll click REST API. And I can see I have some demo keys here. So I'll just add a new one. And demo v2, whatever. Um, user. And I think I want to do read write. If I go back here, it'll tell me um, consumer key, select read write from the permissions. Uh, yeah, and then we're good to go. So I will go ahead and generate that. And I will copy these uh, into a notepad real quick. And that's going to be all we need. Make sure you copy those because they will be uh, removed after, you know, you won't be able to see them again. All right, so we'll go back to N8N and I will paste these in. So because I copied that last, paste that in, paste that in, and then we just need the WooCommerce URL. So I think I can just grab website here. And if I save that, let's see if it works. It says could not connect. So I'll make sure to check this include credentials in the query, All right? That's gonna actually include these. Uh, and if I hit save, now it's green. So now I'm good to go and I'm connected to WooCommerce. So let's just, um, now, now we have WooCommerce credential, you know, authenticated and we want to give it um, some instructions. So instead of create, let's just do get many. We want to fetch product data. And so we'll just, again, we'll just leave this as is for now. You can tweak some of these parameters if you need. Um, but that should be good to go. And so now I can open up my chat and say, uh, what is on sale? And hopefully it will, you can see it hitting the AI tool. It's hitting the memory. It's hitting the um, API key for the chat. And then it's, it's lighting up green and indicating that it's getting the product data from WooCommerce. And so now hopefully it will return all the data. And perfect, if I open this up, I can see here's some products that are currently on sale, the WordPress pennant on sale for $5. And it's actually included a picture in here, which is kind of cool. And it looks like a link to the actual product. So um, even better. It's showing me all the stuff that's on sale. So I could say um, what costs exactly $2. And I think I have something in there that, that fits that criteria. We'll find out soon enough. Um, I believe, yeah, the only product uh, that costs exactly $2 is this belt. All right, so it's got the description of it. This is the only product listed at $2. If I go back to my WooCommerce site, we'll just take a look quickly at the products again. And I can sort by price. And I can see one, 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 and then there's $2. So there's the belt. It's correctly identified what my costs are there. Um, so pretty cool that it just works like that. Um, pretty simple agent workflow. Now the question is, how do we get this chat into our actual site? So um, now that this is working, um, I can go ahead and click on the chat itself. And I can. There's an option here to make the chat publicly available. So let's toggle that on. And let's change this to... Brendan, um, and that's just the initial message. And so now we need to embed this somehow on our site. Uh, I think we actually want, instead of hosted chat, we want embedded chat. So let's select that and let's have no authentication for now. Um, and the way we get this on our site is actually, you probably wanna just click here to find the docs and that'll take you to the docs for the chat trigger node. And Here's the make publicly available option. So we can uh, see all the various things in here, um, how to embed the chat. Here's it, the embedded chat options, right? So we can scroll down a bit um, to, let's see, where did it go? Uh, chat widget, embedded chat. Yeah, here we go. Um, select from hosted chat or embedded chat. So we're gonna select embedded chat. So option requires you to create your own chat interface. You can also use N8N's chat widget or build your own. So we're gonna use their widget and I'll click this and it's gonna take me to like an NPM page actually. 
Um, and so, you know, that's what we're going to try and recreate. So if I look at some examples here, prerequisites, we got to make sure the flow is active. We'll do that in a minute. And then there's various installation methods here. And I'm just going to choose this simple one here for a CDN embed. And we're just going to put this script into our site and we should be good to go. So, um, and then all we're going to change here is this webhook URL, right? So we're going to paste in what we see here in there. So if we go to our site, now I already have this embedded. So I'm going to actually do, I'm going to just delete it and add a new one. So um, if we edit the site, uh, let's see, I want to actually go to the footer. Uh, let's see, patterns, template parts, and I'm going to select the footer. And right here, you can see I've already got uh, my custom HTML. Let's go ahead and delete that and we'll add it again. So add after, let's do HTML. And again, we're gonna be pasting this CDN embed. So I'll just make sure I have that copied again and we'll paste that directly in there. All right. So the last step then would be to grab the chat URL from N8N and paste that into the production webhook URL placeholder here. So if I paste that in and save, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and hit visit site. And sure enough, there is our chat widget. And you can see I can't chat with it though. There's no like chat place to type in my message because we need to make sure to go back to N8N and actually turn on the flow. Okay, so once I turn that on, it's active. It's now ready to receive webhook uh, information from the chat. So now I can come back. And if I refresh, I should be able to type into this now. So refresh and sure enough, I can type. So perfect. Looks like it's working as intended. Now, uh, what can I get my mom for mother's day? She likes hoodies. Oops. And we'll hit send. And again, this should return the data based off of the WooCommerce database. All right, so we see here we've got, I guess, images here. Here's some great hoodies. So we've got the, you know, originally priced at $1, stylish hoodie, view product. I don't know why it's putting in the giant images here. I didn't have that issue before. Um, let me see, okay. Because I think it's including product images. What I can do is actually go into the um, agent itself and open it up and add a system message here. Uh, this is the default one. I'm just going to amend it with do not include, describe, or reference any product images, provide only textual information uh, because I don't want to debug it anymore. So um, let's just do that for now and go back to here. Let's uh, Let's see. Where's my original thing? There it is. And I'll go ahead and type that in. So what can I get my mom for Mother's Day? She likes hoodies. Hopefully it's going to return only text information about the hoodie options. So let's see what it comes up with. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got the four hoodies, hoodie with logo. So it's pretty cool. It's giving me the price. It's giving me the... Uh, the original price here, a little description, again, a link to the product. So pretty cool. That's all working out. So here's some stuff you can get for your mom for Mother's Day. So that is working. And what else can I do? I can go back into my products and let's just update one of these. Um, let's say our sunglasses. And let's say our sunglasses are actually $5.00. And instead of one, and let's schedule the sale price to start, you know, I don't know, yesterday, January 14th, and to end the end of, I don't know, February. All right, so let's update that. And you'll see that now the agent still has access to all that data. Let me refresh here. And I could say, um, you know, uh, do you have uh, eyewear available? can't spell I were available. So hopefully it's going to find the sunglasses 
and give me the updated price. You can see here, um, yeah, here's the eyewear products. So you can see we sunglasses. Now the price is $5 instead of 90. Um, great, so how long are these on sale for? And so hopefully it's going to be able to find that information. Um, interesting, it didn't work. The specific duration of the sale is not provided. Interesting, I got it to work before, so I wonder why that didn't work. Um, yeah, interesting, let's, let's try again. How long is the sale on sunglasses valid for? Of course, it doesn't work when you try to actually do the video, but oh, here we go. Okay, so the sale on the sunglasses is valid from January 14th to February 2025. So perfect. It actually knows the updated information. Um, but you know, it's not perfect, I guess, right? It kind of missed that response, but luckily by the next uh, time it the person chats with it, it works. So anyway, that is basically what I wanted to show. We've got the simple agent workflow that gets your WooCommerce database data and passes it through LLMs to give a chat response back. And so you can embed this chat directly on your website. And again, you don't have to use WooCommerce. It could be your WordPress blog system, or it could be a totally separate thing outside of WordPress. But Anyway, hopefully this gives you an example of some of the cool stuff that you can build with AI and automations. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.